Assalamu alaikum hello and welcome to very my today's special guest is the only trainer coach to have a student attain one out of 10 super sellers status from approximately 1 million sellers he is a master trainer for a new fiber.com entrepreneurs founded multiple successful companies during the depressed economic times he is presently a business and trainer coach from 15 countries and four continents globally I am proud to claim my guest is Oracle to social entrepreneurship you will know in a moment I want you to know he speaks fast so you better listen fast and take a lot of notes Jason Gilbert Jason you are on the big screen say hello to my friends from Pakistan hello everybody in Pakistan master trainer Jason Gilbert here thank you so much for coming of course Sadiq, thank you so much for that uh, warm introduction and for inviting me to be on this Google Hangout with you. So the reason uh, everybody is here today is to learn more about the opportunity to be able to become a social entrepreneur, to be able to uh, use, join and use a website such as Fiverr.com, which is really not a website but a community and be able to start a business without having to spend any money just having a little bit of training and to be able to start earning an income very quickly from customers and clients all over the world that will want your services you'll be able to offer up to 20 different services uh, on the site and you'll be able to work as little or as much as you want you will be uh, your own boss so you won't have to answer to anybody you just follow the rules that are on the site the same rules everybody follows and you'll be able to uh, create uh, an income a new stream of income and an, a new source of income for yourself and for your family in a very short period of time Jason let's start with the first incident where were you what happened who you are surrounded by that inspired you to do what you do today sure well uh, in 2001 I had been in a job that I had been in for 10 years it was a good paying job I was very fortunate and blessed to have this job it provided a good income for my family but then my wife passed away unexpectedly and I had two young daughters I had a three-year-old uh, and also a baby daughter that was eight weeks old uh, and she was in the hospital uh, on a life support system she was in a coma and she survived but I was no longer able to continue working in that job now that I had become a single father unexpected I'm unemployed uh, and the economy is, is, is not very good at that time um, and as a widowed single father with no job I had I could try to find another job that could accommodate me with uh, that working hours and things that I needed to do as a single father a single parent or I could become an entrepreneur and be able to create my own economy create my own job working for myself as my boss and work the hours that work for me it was a scary decision to make Sadiq because you don't know as an entrepreneur I didn't have any training education about starting a business running a business so I attended some training and I got a business coach a mentor who helped guide me on what to do what I should choose uh, as uh, because there were many choices many ways to make money but uh, I was skeptical very skeptical in that making sure that I didn't uh, there's a uh, choose something that uh, where someone just wanted to take advantage of my situation so I made sure that my trainer was someone who had a lot of success someone who had been there before me and he was able to demonstrate his success and I was very impressed he had no ego no attitude he I could tell he was very humble and just wanted to help and so because of that man I was able to learn how to become an entrepreneur in a very short period of time 
and start generating income and making money to support my family. Up till then, I was receiving assistance from the government uh, because I had no job and no way to support myself. And uh, then the business uh, so not only supported my family but became very successful. And that gave me the confidence to create new businesses and new companies after that first one. So really the key was finding help, making sure I didn't try to figure it out by myself, someone I could trust and someone who had the knowledge uh, to train me on what to do as a mentor. Wow, that's a great story, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm very blessed. Thank you so much. Beyond this, the next question, Mayin, is how you earn the right to teach someone getting social entrepreneurs to students especially from Pakistan where you had never been there before yet and you they are the one of the most skeptical people on the planet yes I tell you I am one of them yes so I'm blessed to be here here for 20 years however they want to know are you real for real you have been there done that and why you should be even sure sure and I welcome the opportunity I have nothing to to prove I could just tell you who I am and what I've done and people can decide for themselves but uh, I will tell you my first interaction with some Pakistanis was I visited the website Fiverr.com because I needed some services and some friends had suggested it to me some business colleagues as a place where you could find uh, services at a very good price and so I went on there and and I purchased some services from different people, different countries, some of them were Pakistanis. I was so in with the website and what the opportunities that allowed me as a business owner, I was more than happy to spend the money and give the money to people in other countries because the website makes sure that the quality is good. So after doing that, I showed it to my wife. I remarried a few years later after my first wife passed away and my current wife was always saying, uh, you know, I, I would like to get a job. I feel like I'm not contributing to the family as much as I could. And, uh, but she had no skills, no education, um, very difficult for her to get a job. And, and she was always mothering our children. So uh, the, the, the hours and everything, a job just didn't make sense. And it was eating her up inside that she really wanted to do something more than just be a mother. So I introduced her to the website and I said, you should do this and I will help you. So I helped her set up a service on Fiverr.com and she started making money immediately. And that's how she grew in a very short period of time with my help in training her and showing her how to brand yourself, market your service, and provide good customer service. Uh, the website sent her more and more customers and she rapidly grew up to uh, top seller status one of the top sellers and then they called her one day and they said we've selected you out of a million sellers to be one of the ten super sellers and they did an interview with her uh, about uh, her new found status so that that is why I'm very excited about the opportunity in bringing it to more Pakistanis. I think a few of them know and they're making all the money on the site right now. If more Pakistanis knew about the opportunity and had the training, then I think they could do what many, uh, what some of their fellow countrymen have already been doing and providing services to uh, people around the world who are, are looking uh, for those services and willing to pay a lot of money for them. Thank you, Jason. That's an amazing story. You know what? I, many, many married men like me, they need to learn how to talk to their wife and actually train their wife. I have no clue. I can't train my wife. My wife working have been with me for over the years. You know, she worked very successfully and many times she doesn't even listen at all. I'm saying it publicly and that's, I'm not alone. I know many, no. many married people are laughing on the other side. Can you tell what the secret of getting your, you are not only you trained your wife, she listened so much, she actually executed finally, that's yes. the power of an execution and she made to a, one of the top super sellers, that's a congrats to you and say, say hello to congrats from millions of Pakistanis from, they want to uh, join me to say congrats to your wife, uh, you know, so 
tell me what was the secret of communicating to your wife uh, so that sure. way she really did it. Busy trying to do business with a family member or a loved one. And it wasn't easy with her. It's much easier when I provide training and business coaching to someone who isn't a family member. So I know if I can help her become very successful, I can help pretty much anybody. Um, which is why I'm in high demand and I have a lot of um, business entrepreneurs that have uh, sought my services uh, all over the world. Uh, four different continents, I believe you mentioned early in the call, 14, 15 different countries and growing. Um, but um, it, it, anytime I can help people, it really fulfills me, it really nurtures me. My, uh, my days of growing companies and all of that were very fun and very exciting. But uh, I'm in a period now where I want to give back and I want to help other people to be able to do the same thing. I get much more fulfillment from helping somebody else grow and become successful than I do making any, any amount of money, anything like that. So um, it's, it really just came down to a system. I showed my wife step by step. I said, you must follow this process and do these things. Uh, but she chose she chose the... Um, services that she wanted to provide and they were things that she really likes and that she's fun, it's fun and she's good at it. And once she made those choices um, then I helped her with the system, the step-by-step -step process to put it up on the site and get customers coming and making the purchases. And that's really all there was to it. Thank you, Jason. I am really looking forward on the behalf of all the Pakistanis who are watching this and sharing with their friends. We just want to say thank you so much for helping. You are not even from Pakistan, but you have the heart to, your heart is the size of the planet. I know you as a friend for the last couple of years. So thank you so much. I really mean it. I want to say it publicly. Thank you so much for helping our people out. Of course. It is, it is my pleasure and honor to do so. Okay. So for many who they don't even know what the social entrepreneur mean, so what is a social entrepreneur in your point of view? Well, social entrepreneur, the definition is just uh, people coming together, entrepreneurs coming together to solve social problems or uh, any, any problem that needs a solution. Um, it's a very broad definition. So, you know, m my definition is more of an, it, it's being an opportunity. It's an opportunity because of technology, because of the internet, that now people anywhere in the world that have access to a computer and internet can now connect with people in other country and, and make money and make an income, support their family, or, or just grow financially. Uh, whereas before, doing business from country to country always had barriers. You had to travel, you had to know people, and now because of a website like Fiverr, anybody anywhere can get on there and immediately create a business, and, and it costs nothing. It costs no, I don't know anywhere else. Every business I ever started costs money. You had to have money to start it. My wife spent zero, no money creating the business, and uh, and, and that's... To me, that's why social entrepreneurship is an opportunity. Uh, you just have to get the, the, the blueprint and know what to do and start you know, taking those action steps to get from where you are now uh, to where you can do it. But it's, that's it. As long as you're someone who's willing uh, to make the effort, if you can contribute the effort, um, you don't have to contribute money to, to be able to take advantage of this amazing social entrepreneurship opportunity. Thank you. That's a great explanation. As Jason mentioned in a moment that like, we are solving a social problem, myself and Jason, we had like a brainstorming together. We, I just came back from a, a month-long trip after seven years from Pakistan. I met a lot of people. and. We just have put our brain together, we figure out, I think we can solve one of the biggest unemployment problem in Pakistan, especially for educated people who have already earned the college degree or university degree, or they are employed or underemployed. That means they are not making enough to feed their families. 
I know the average size of Pakistani families are four, five, six, seven kids. We are five brothers and two sisters. Jason, you may not know that. So imagine yeah, there's only I've seen one the pictures. Yeah. yeah, you have seen the pictures of my family. So by seeing like a seven of them and then and like their kids and like a big family, you just like a, yeah. and then there's a one or two people only earning if they are earning. Otherwise, it's very very hard to make a li ends meet like a living. Yeah. So again. That's the social problem we have, and we are doing it in a way. So, of course, we will generate some scholarships with the wealthy people's help to make it happen. And you, as a candidate, if you are want to learn how to make money, or Australian dollars, or euro from Europe, you don't have to even pay for it. And Jason is willing to coach for you. Jason, say it publicly. You are you are going to do whatever it takes to make it happen to help those people who are willing to follow the directions and earn money. Absolutely, and and there, nobody understands that website better than I do. I've studied it very very intensely, and I gathered a lot of data. And I also communicated with the the people in the company. To really understand how to maximize the opportunity uh, beyond what most people who just sign up and try to make it work do, I think that's why my I was able to help my wife become as successful as she was. She thanks me all the time that thank you for allowing me or showing me how to do this um, because it's very fulfilling for her. She can now earn an income and she can work whenever she wants. She schedules the time to do the work that you know the orders just come in 24-7 while she sleeps she gets up in the morning people have their orders and then every few days she sets aside time in the evening when the kids are asleep or in the weekend when they're out or whatever works for her and then she does the work and then she sends uh, the finished orders and and so she's able to do it uh, whenever she wants wherever she wants and unlike when you run a company when I ran a company I couldn't just stop working and go off and do whatever I wanted people depended on me but she can she can stop if we go on vacation or something and she doesn't feel like doing the work or feels like she would be uh, it would take too long and people would get upset if they waited too long for their orders then she would just press the pause button and the orders don't come in until she comes back and turns it back on. So it, it's great in that you know you can not only earn an income but have that flexibility to work from wherever you want as much or as little as you want, part time or full time. And for her, it's it's part time. But for Pakistanis, it's a great opportunity because the services that are in the most demand are the ones that where Europeans and Americans to them it's just a little bit of money they think it's an amazing deal and often what they'll do is when you do a good job they will give you a tip a gratuity they'll give you extra money often that money is more than the job itself even my wife who's American often gets uh, a tip or that extra money that is more than what they paid her for in the job so um, a little bit of money from an American or European translates to a lot of money for uh, someone who might be Pakistani like you said maybe they have a family uh, to take care of and everybody's happy you just have to have that training and that system to be able to make sure that when people see your service it stands out from all the others and it's something that they want uh, and you make it irresistible so that they just they choose you for their for the service to purchase. Thank you again. Thank you again. I'm so excited. So, why becoming an entrepreneur is so important to a little guy who have a zero, I mean really zero dollar income, or a little income right now. Right, and just some of the reasons I touched upon before. Uh, technology allows you to reach the people who have the money without having to spend any money, and then you don't have to go interview for a job. Uh, try to get hired for a job and if you're fortunate enough to get a job then you don't have to work for someone and be there on the time they want you to be there and you know maybe deal with the challenges and difficulties of the job the working with the other people you get to work alone nobody as long as you follow the rules on the website that's your boss 
and everybody plays by the same rules, and they're fair rules. It, 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 it allows you, the website wants you to make money because they get a little piece of everything that is paid to you, so they make it easy uh, for you. So it's very important to take advantage of the opportunity now um, while the competition is lower. Over time, the competition will grow, so the sooner you start, the sooner you build a reputation on the site and the more they reward you with a status and the more customers they send you. There's no other business in the world that I've ever seen where the business sends you the customers. Every business I've ever seen, online, a store, whatever it is, you have to go get your own customers. Fiverr sends you the customers. And, and that's, that's why you can start it with no money whatsoever. Uh, I just don't know of any other business out there that can do that. Amazing. By the way, I to sign up with you. It's a sign up is free. You just need to know what you're doing and follow the system so that way you can start making money right away. Is that correct? Yes. Don't, don't, do not sign up and try it yourself without the training because here's what will happen. When you, when you put a new service on Fiverr, they will send you some tra traffic. If the visitors don't buy anything, they will stop sending you traffic forever. So you want to have the training so that when you put up your service and they send you a, a few visitors, some of them buy. And then if they buy, they'll send you more. And if they buy, they keep sending more. So... That's how it works. The biggest mistake people make is they go and they, they don't understand how to make the, the buyers want to buy your service. Fiverr doesn't provide any training. They make you figure it out yourself. So the people who have the training have the advantage. So you want to wait, take the training, and then go on the site and open up your first business. Okay, that's a major uh, shocking uh, information for me, by the way. I learned, uh, Jason, directly from you uh, while everybody else is learning from you. So what are the major roadblocks to become an entrepreneur, especially from Pakistan? Because the government, most of the policies are against people to become an entrepreneur. So I comment on the roadblocks uh, to become an entrepreneur and run a business strictly in Pakistan. Um, there's many roadblocks to doing that in the United States and many of the other countries, the 15 countries that I provide uh, business training and consulting and coaching in. But I can tell you there's no roadblocks to starting a business on Fiverr. That's what makes it so great. That's why it's one of the most trafficked sites in the world. You know, Google has a ranking as to the sites that get the most visitors in the world. And, Fiverr is one of the very top out of millions and millions and millions. So uh, the it's not a roadblock. It's just a process. Um, again, like I said before, just as long as you get the training, uh, that's really the only um, roadblock. I wouldn't even consider it a roadblock. It's, it's just a, a stepping stone on the path from where you are now to starting and running a successful business on Fiverr. Thank you. What are the what are the major steps in becoming an entrepreneur? Well, um, again, that's mostly covered in the training that we provide. But the first step is to get the training, and then in the training, what is covered is how to choose a service, how to look at the various options, decide something you like, but also something that people will want to buy and then how to brand it and offer the service in a way that is very compelling, that will get the sellers wanting to use you. Some of it will be because of the service that you provide and maybe the value um, and the unique value, what makes you different from other people providing uh, something similar. But also in how you brand yourself, for example, um, and a little bit about you and your background, because then the buyers will trust you the more they trust you, the more they will want to buy from you, especially in the beginning. Now, once once you've had um, some uh, purchases on Fiverr, the customers come and purchase, then the site will help you build the trust factor and build your reputation. 
And so the, the, the more you build the reputation, the more customers you will get. But in the beginning, when you haven't had any customers, that's the most critical time. So that's why the training is very important, so we can cover those steps in becoming an entrepreneur and providing the right service at the right price, targeting the right people, and then being able to communicate with those people in a way that makes them um, want to buy. Sometimes they ask questions. Many times they just click the buy button. Many times they contact you first and they have questions and you need to be able to answer them in the right way. Or if during the process of fulfilling their order, uh, they may have questions or there might be some uh, communication or confusion and how you handle that is so very important. What I did for my wife is I just wrote out things she could copy and paste. Sometimes she needs to use her mind and work with somebody and help them understand something, but much of the work is already, I wrote everything for her and she just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and, and that way it's very quick and it's easy, no thinking. So we are going to, our, our students from Pakistan are going to get those templates so they can use it copy-paste. We are the master of copying other stuff, by the way. Right, right. Absolutely. Yes, I mean, the whole purpose is to make it as easy as possible to give people the best chance of success. Okay. And f friends, if you're still watching, you probably know why I'm involved in this one. You know, I know that Jason may be using some English words, we may, may require some Urdu translation, so I will be like a master trainer as a co-trainer with him, and he has given me the permission to be on the calls, on the training videos with you, and give you some local examples from Pakistan so you understand it better. So that's why I'm on the calls with you, Jason. Is that correct, or anything else you want to add? No, no, that's, uh, that's everything. What would you say as a final word who would like to get started with us as a successful entrepreneur just like your, your wife believed in you and actually she did it? Sure. Again, it's fair. I like to keep everything simple, nothing ever complicated. So I, it's a three-part uh, process. Number one is to get the education, the, the training. Um, and always make sure when you get education or training, you get it from someone with a uh, record uh, of success, someone who has a history of success. There are very people out there who give very good training even with no history of doing it themselves. But if you can find someone that has been successful at doing it themselves, like running a business and at doing the training and have has a track record or a history of success training somebody uh, else and they become successful, that's that's really the optimal or the best uh, type of uh, educator or trainer. Uh, and, and that's what I'm proud to provide is I have the experience of starting many businesses myself, but then also the training and making people successful on fiber. So that's one. Number two is to make sure that you choose the correct model to follow, whether that's to uh, start a business on fiverr.com or on something else. And then within Fiverr.com, choosing the right type of services that strike the, the correct balance between your skill set and what you are good at and what you like to do and what is in high demand and what people need. So the model is number two. And then the third is the, the blueprint, the action plan, step by step on how to implement everything that you've learned. And then to go out there and just do it not to be afraid, not to be skeptical. Um, when you have to spend a lot of money on something and the person taking your money doesn't have any kind of a history um, or a any, any credibility, that's the time to be skeptical. But when it's a little bit of money or no money and you have someone that you're working with that you feel you can trust and has a history of success, both in doing themselves and in training others, then you can feel comfortable because you have very little to lose. Um, in, in business, it's the people that move the fastest that have the most success. But it's not enough to move fast. You have to also be smart. You have to work hard. It's never easy. It's never easy in business. But you want to work harder than everybody 
but especially smarter and you want to make decisions quickly and make decisions correctly and that comes with time and it comes with practice and the best way to learn that is by doing it you can have all the training in the world but you will learn the most when you do so those who do always have more success than those who do not some people are afraid of doing because they're afraid of mistakes or failure but as long as you have more successes than failures the doers always have more successes and failures so they always end up ahead and the people that don't do they usually complain or they come up with reasons or excuses I have these problems in my life life is always you know presenting obstacles or uh, they find some story of someone else who couldn't do it or didn't do it or had a failure and they use that as a justification not to do it so the those people who do always outperform those who do not so I encourage everybody to be a doer and to go to the next step to to take um, and experience uh, the training that we offer and be able to start a business for little to no cost um, on Fiverr.com and uh, and really create that social environment um, where everybody benefits where the customers who pay you benefit they're happy where you receive uh, income and you're able to to take care of yourself and your family financially and you're happy and of course the Fiverr website is happy because everybody's doing business together that's what social entrepreneurism that's why I'm here today with you Sadiq my friend my colleague and thank you so much for this opportunity to share with the people of Pakistan I'm very excited about what lies ahead for all of them and for us wonderful thank you so much that was a mouthful explanation of the, the last word is there anything I could have asked I did, did not get around to it not at all not at all I hope I I tried to be as comprehensive and, and as possible hopefully not too much um, but uh, if people follow those last three education and training the right model and the blueprint step by step they will be successful thank you friends you probably thinking how I, I want to get on board and how I should do it there is an application process and we have a very limited scholarships available the scholarships are paid by wealthy people who want to give it back just like Jason just like me I'm not that wealthy however my heart is about giving back I want to help we want to help together over a million entrepreneurs in Pakistan it's a one million okay so you are going to help us to connect with those one million and we are going to work together in this one this is not anybody's problem it's our problem we are going to work together to solve that problem we are not waiting for a government to solve for us government is going to do whatever they can support us however whatever they do is a good thank you so much and we need to take our problems into our hand and solve it collectively as a collaboratively and I am working with many friends like Jason and of course Jason is the first one to be on this one and we will have many more interviews they are helping on board their uh, with their money plus their skills and in fact Jason has come up with this I'm going to be willing to coach a million people train he has the expertise I am blessed to be his friends thank you so much for our friendship thank you Jason for your sharing your wisdom with us so now you have watched us the Jason you know about Jason now you know a little bit about me and we are going to you want to start the journey with us together are you ready are you inspired yet I have not inspired if you have more questions before you even to want to start go ahead and comment under the video however if you really want to take a jump start and actually get on board we have an application process because we really want to know about you who you are what kind of a family you are from where, where you live how big is your family and how you actually running your financial matters right now there's a, all the questions are on your application be honest 100% I know many people want to make up the answers I don't want you to make up the answer because let me tell you I have been doing this 20 years and Jason has almost like a 15 years experience he said in 2001 what happened so 
for combined experience of 35 years, we've probably seen so many applicants, we, I can't even remember that. It's a large, large number of applicants and many, many other projects. We can smell if it's not. You need to write everything honestly, just like coming from your heart, okay? Because there's no money involved. I'm not trying to make money from you because someone else is putting money on this to make this happen to help you. But I want to make sure, just like it's my money, so I, it's going to the right type of people. People with the attitude who want to achieve something in a life, okay? And they are not a complainer and whiners and blaming always others about everything else, but they never blame themselves, you know? If something goes wrong, the successful people always accept their mistake first. They don't put on anybody else. I've never seen successful person putting blame on somebody else. So I want you to do is be honest when you're filling up this application. And number two, be honest with yourself, okay? Everything starts cleaning up from your inside. If you are not sincere to yourself, no one else will be sincere with you. So that's the promise I want you to make and fill up the application. And there's probably a link on this page or a button on this page. So click on that one, fill up the application. We will review it. And you may be lucky chance to get earn scholarship. So, and then we will connect you to the person who actually donated on your behalf or invested in you, believing by listening to your story. There are two parts of the application. One is you're filling up like a form online. You, there's no print. You don't have to print anything, no email. We will get the information automatically at the end of the form. There's a one button called submit. Submit that one, we will get all the information back automatically, fill up every field in that one. The second part of application is we want you to make a quick video. It could be on your iPhone. I know you say, I don't have an iPhone. It's okay. You can have your Galaxy, like a, this Google Android, Samsung phones, like a smartphone. Because I know in Pakistan, 3G and 4G is available now. There are so many people I met with the smartphones. You can use that camera and record a video. If you don't have on that one, I know the chief minister of Punjab, they have distributed over 400,000 laptops from government money. Thanks to him, you can use one of those laptops. There's a camera on that one. You can use a record a video and upload it to the second part of the application because we really want to see you on a video and tell the story honestly. The video should be one to two minutes. We will tell you on that in a separate video too. Then we are, someone is going to watch that story Look at your application, and you may be lucky to win a, be a part of a new emerging entrepreneur from Pakistan, and the training is being done by Jason Gilbert. You already seen him. And I'm a core trainer, and wherever there are some difficult concepts, I will speak in Urdu too. I speak Urdu as well, and I'm, I speak Punjabi too, so I don't have any shame in speaking local language, because goal is not to try to impress you with the English. Goal is so you get the whole idea and make it work. However, your clients all will be coming from America. Uh, clients will be from US, United States of America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, or UK. So they will be writing you in English. That's why we are trying to speak English so that way you get to know English. I know majority of the schools and colleges and universities in Pakistan, they do study all the subjects are in English. So that way I know you may have a speaking issue a little bit, which is okay. I had a way bigger problem when speaking. If you, even after 20 years, I have an accent, so don't, you can laugh at my accent. The accent doesn't really matter in this much. It's what you're talking about, what you, how you speak and how you write. That's all matters. Jason, you want to add something to this? No, I think you, uh, you, you covered it very comprehensively. I just, uh, again, encourage people to take the next step um, and do the application because the application is not difficult. It just takes a little bit of time and effort, but it allows us to filter out those who, if somebody isn't willing to put in a little bit of time and effort to fill out the application, then we know they won't have uh, put in the time and effort to apply the training and the concepts that we'll be giving them to become successful. So it all starts with the application. and we can only take so many. There's only so many people that we can uh, fund uh, the training for. So the sooner people do their application and the more accurate and comprehensive the application is done, 
then the better chance they have of being accepted and receiving that funding assistance. Thank you. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you on the other side. Thank you from Sadiq and Jason. Thank you. Thank you.